Check back with Jack Cafferty. Uh, he's got the uh, Cafferty, the Cafferty file. All right, Wolf, the question this hour is how important is John Kerry's endorsement for Barack Obama's presidential campaign? Patricia says, not too important. If I'm John Edwards or Hillary Clinton, I wouldn't want John Kerry's endorsement wrapped around my neck. John Kerry lost an election. He should have won in a landslide. If I am any Democratic candidate, I don't want a loser's brand name stamped on my forehead. Ryan writes, this is almost as significant as Pat Robertson endorsing Rudy. In it, it's completely meaningless in the eyes of most voters. They view Kerry as a horrible failure and product of the establishment that could not do what most people thought any idiot could do, beat Bush in 2004. Carroll says Kerry's endorsement gives balance to the Obama campaign. John Kerry lends his name to the long list of established politicians who support Obama's bid for the presidency. Richard in Louisiana could be the kiss of death. We all remember how Kerry failed in 2004. Nobody loves a loser. He never fought for his name. He caved in. Some warrior. Kathy in West Fargo, North Dakota, his endorsement is not important to me. Neither is Oprah's or Barbara's. I'm totally capable of choosing a candidate on my own. I do my research and I go from there. And Phil writes from Colorado, Kerry will help Obama if he does not campaign for him. He endorsed Obama, made a nice speech. Now Kerry needs to go back to the Senate and not let anyone take a picture of him windsurfing. <laughs> Wolf. Phil, got a good sense of humor there. Thanks very much.